All right, so this is the implementation um, of the distance between a point and a line segment um, in ASM.js. Um, so ASM.js is basically a very reduced subset of JavaScript um, that allows you to write code which is much more quickly or much more directly translated into low-level assembly instructions, um, but in a way that it, if in environments where ASM.js is not supported, it will fall back gracefully. So um, it's just extra JavaScript syntax to allow for um, great improvements in, in execution speed um, while preserving its uh, functionality across all platforms. So um, the way that we create ASM functions is we wrap um, uh, we wrap uh, we wrap them in this function that we call once, um, and we give it uh, standard library foreign and buffer foreign isn't important right now, um, but this this is this is this is this is key. This is key. This is the use ASM directive. So this tells it that it can optimize this using ASM.js. Um, of course, in browsers where this isn't supported, that's just an empty statement effectively, so it won't do anything. Um, now, let's take a look at the function. Here it is, point line segment distance, and it finds the distance between um, the point PX, PY to the line segment um, between points A and B here. So first what we do is we indicate that all the inputs are floats, or actually more precisely doubles. Um, and the way we do that is we say px equals plus px plus casts it to a double. Um, then we also initialize some variables, t, t, x, t, y, d, x, d, a, y, d. Um, and these will be used in the as intermediates in the calculation. So this is the calculation. Um, you can see here, this is where we round uh, t to zero or one if it's uh, out, outside of that range. Um, and finally, we call the highpot function, which um, is actually defined over here, um, because the, it's actually not built in or in, in the reduced ASM uh, system. But we define it here, and you can see uh, we say that both of the inputs are doubles, um, and then we operate on them. So, then there's this a function point line segment min distance, and what this does is it looks inside the buffer, which is sort of a, a an area of, of memory that that's used for bulk storage um, of variables. So for for variable length uh, of an array, um, so we give it uh, the point x and point y and the start and end indices uh, of the float array. And then we see, so you can see here, um, px and py are doubles, while start and end are integers. So this this vertical bar zero, um, it means casting to an integer. Um, and then we iterate over. Um, so here we iterate over the elements of the array, and we calculate the distance between basically every subsegment of uh, in in the polyline that this is calculating. And we find the distance between that segment and the point, px, py. Um, and then we just store the minimum distance that we find. So this is useful. This will be used in the, in the calculation for when you click. Um, it, the the um, points of the polyline will be fed in as an array um, and stored inside the buffer, this buffer up here. Um, and they'll be re retrieved as float 64s. Um, and the, these values will be fed into uh, this function. So now we see that this wrapper function, which helps us call this call this ASM function, um, what it needs to do is it needs to copy the polyline vertices into the float64 array or into, into the buffer. So that's what this does here. Um, there's a special case if the length of the polyline vertices is greater than the size of the buffer. So I suppose this is a massive polyline with you know hundreds of thousands of vertices then you'd need to copy it several times and copy different sections of it in. But in the basic case where it's not so big, um, we just um, copy the polyline vertices into the buffer, um, and then we call the function point line segment min distance uh, on, on using the buffer. And then here is just some helper code to uh, allow ASM.js to work. But yeah, so th this, I did some benchmarking this results in about an eight to 40 times speed up depending on the conditions. So it's pretty cool.